Um, if you're working on your paper over the weekend, I just have a couple things um, that I want to remind you of so that you don't get stuck and can't finish. So if you are typing this weekend and you need some tips or some reminders, I just want you to look at Mr. Espinoza's story of his dog Cheeto. And if you want to take a picture of this before you leave today, you can. So his beginning is his exposition, which is his setting, the characters, and the mood, climate, or situation, okay? So that's his exposition. And that goes in the beginning paragraph. And it's labeled beginning on already. So that's Mr. Espinoza's exposition, okay? His inciting incident, what set the conflict in motion, is that he got that dog for Christmas, Cheeto. Inciting incident. This is his inciting incident. This set the conflict in motion because his dad was like, I know you shouldn't get a dog, but I'm going to get you one anyways. Okay, your middle paragraph, that box on no red ink that says middle, okay? This is your rising action. Sorry, I don't know why I did my R like that. Rising action, climax, and falling action is this area right here. You guys know this. We've tested over this. You should already know this. Falling action. Okay. Mr. Espinoza's rising action, climax, and falling action all go in that middle box, okay? In the final box that says ending or end box, it's his resolution. It's where the conflict is resolved. Resolution, okay? So if you're typing this weekend, that's where everything goes, okay? Um, there's one more thing I want to add. On No Red Ink, on Monday, we're going to be labeling each section of your essay. So before the exposition, you'll put the word exposition and you're going to bold it and um, underline it. And then there, there will be your exposition underneath it. And then you'll do another heading title, Inciting Incident. You're going to make it bold and underline it and then it'll be your inciting incident. So I will explain how to do that on Monday and we'll do it as a class together on the board. Um, but this is how your paper should be typed out on no red ink. And um, I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys have a great day.